Has everybody picked up uh, a real estate magazine? Uh, there's the third article, the second article in, is talking about rental laws that are being passed in several states around America. There are some states, some cities, which are passing laws that say you can only have so many rental houses in a neighborhood. There has been a recent homeowners association decision in which a, a lower court has upheld the homeowner's right to restrict the rental of property in that neighborhood. This is, gets to be especially important for Knoxville because nobody in Tennessee is doing this yet. But if they're doing it somewhere else, every city is going broke, every city is desperate for fees, and this is a way that politicians can feel good about creating some new program that says we're going to make sure that all of our housing meets a certain standard, all of our housing is going to be uh, perfect for every rental property, every renter that's going to be there. And they create a situation in which they take away the market forces that create the opportunity for housing. Every city that has enacted these rules, and I don't, I've challenged several people to prove me wrong on this one, but to find me one city in America that has enacted any of these rental restriction rules that is better economically today and there is more affordable housing today than it was prior to them starting the regulations. When you heard the people on codes enforcement speak, they told you clearly the only reason there are codes enforcement is because of insurance regulations. Insurance drives codes. The reason that we want to have a, uh, a picture, a snapshot, from the surveys that we do of our economic impact, it gives us credibility when we talk to the codes of officials, when we talk to uh, the politicians about upcoming legislation that might be occurring. It'll start in Nashville, and the Memphis group, the Nashville group, ours in Chattanooga, we're already looking at how, we've already had a conversation as to how we can organize our efforts in being sure that we keep housing affordable in the state of Tennessee. This is really critical because Knoxville used to have 3,800 Section 8 vouchers. They're, as they begin to wean off, they're going to be the new limit is 35, about 3,500. Every Section 8 voucher is the government transferring money to a tenant to pay rent somewhere. Maybe they're paying the full rent, maybe they're paying partial rent, but the government is looking to limit the amount of money that they're giving to the Section 8 programs. In Knoxville, the simple math is that every Section 8 voucher is worth about $50,000 of rental property. Uh, 3,800 vouchers is $190 million. There's no way the city of Knoxville, no way the city of Knoxville can pick up a check for $190 million to pay for affordable housing. If we as a group do not continue to provide housing, there will be no housing for the working people of the country. We, have, we are responsible ourselves for, for understanding the dynamics of the market and providing housing for the market so that everybody can have a place to live.